Hey, guys, follow me. We're gonna hang out today. Today is gonna be totally different than previous videos. I've been out of commission for the last while. I've had some back issues. For any of you that have had back issues before, you know what I'm talking about. But I've spent the majority of the last week horizontal, laying in bed, and very difficult sitting up to edit. So, this video is gonna be totally different than previous and maybe uh, some future videos too. We're going raw, baby. We're going walk and talk, take you on a little walk about. I'm heading to BGC. My apartment is about a 10 minute walk. So we're gonna go do a little tour and uh, get my perspective on what I think and what I see, what I think is cool if you're coming this way. Anywho, hanging out with the Rosemeister. She is hiding behind me. And she's short. She's just a little <laughs> shorty. So we have this awesome apartment. I'm gonna do a video on this area and do a video specifically on kind of what's outside of the bubble of BGC. Man, I love, love, love this part of Manila. I can't say that I've really seen much more than this area in BGC, but it's awesome. I can't wait to make a video on that. All right, see you in BGC in five, four, three, two. All right, guys, we made it. So this is kind of the main attraction, Bonificio High Street, five or six blocks of dining and cafes and shops and just kind of cool areas to lounge and hang out. Man, it's so different than the rest of the Philippines that I've been to. I love this, but it honestly just kind of reminds me of a very nice US city or Canadian city that I've been to. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. It's super nice. It's nice to have that. I kind of like the old school aspect of the Philippines with all the wet and dry markets and stuff like that. It really feels like you're in the Philippines, but I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice. They definitely did not hold back. They did so many good things here as far as landscaping, as far as just the overall feel. It feels like it's not just like a walking mall, but it's a park. Like you can come here and just hang out, bring your dog and just relax. If you come here, you'll be amazed. I mean, especially if you go somewhere else first and then come here to see that contrast between what most of the Philippines looks like and then you come to BGC. But if you've never been to the US or know, Canada or other countries that have cities like this, it's kind of neat. Somebody wants in. So one thing I love that some cities do is they paint murals on big blank sides of buildings, kind of like this one, and there's a few others that I'll show you. Kind of far away to see the detail, but it's otherwise just a big slab of concrete is now a piece of art. And they've done that in a few other places. And check this out. Kind of like this, what would normally be just a kind of an eyesore emergency uh, fire hose connection. It kind of turned it into some nice art. Well, what do you know? I found another one. So I'm assuming wherever they have these, these uh, hose connections, it's almost like they turn it into the earring. That's really awesome. This whole BGC area, I mean, it's a, it's a business district, but they call it the lifestyle district too. I think that's what they call it. But it really represents that. I mean, even just having, like over here, you got bike locks. Not every city has that. There's a lot of US cities that don't put bike locks around, which is silly for those that are trying to get into it. There's nowhere to lock your bike. So this is cool. They really promote it here. Not only do they have bike locks, they have these sort of the bike share program, which is for like short distances. Pretty awesome. Universal design, accessible for everyone. I love that. Being an occupational therapist, I appreciate stuff like that. But yeah, look at the design, guys. Like it's super nice. Super, super nice. Lush and beautiful. Yeah, this is definitely the most raw video I've ever done. But if you wanted to know what it's like here in BGC, especially the kind of highlight areas, that's all I'm gonna do today. Show you guys kind of the main spots that I'd say are the main attraction foreigner with a Filipina. See that a lot. A lot of foreigners here for sure. Foreigner, Filipina. See that a lot. All right, look at this. 
I mean, it's just advertisements, but maybe they'll play uh, NHL playoffs here. Man, I'd come back for that. Just hang out in the park, watch some hockey with everyone, all the fellow Canadians that are here traveling. That'd be pretty amazing. Patios everywhere. I'm a huge fan of like, courtyards and patios for restaurants. Just everything is, everything is really nice. I mean, it, it's an amazing city. It really is. I think it really puts Philippines on the map as far as cities go. It's no question. Dog friendly, love that. A lot of American companies like Shake Shack and there's TGI Fridays and just, again, it's like, it's like I'm in the US right now. Not saying that's a bad thing, but expect that if you come here. In my opinion, there's so much to see in the Philippines, beaches and jungles and waterfalls and all the amazing outdoor stuff. And plus culturally and the people that you meet when you're like in the province and touring around, that's kind of what I really like. And that's what I'm figuring out as days go on. All right, this is a popular little corner. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a 3D screen on an angle. It's kind of like Times Square, right? Little New York. Guys, this is so raw. But that's all, that's all I'm gonna do for a little bit. I can't sit and edit. And I've been watching other vlogs and so many vloggers just, it's kind of what they do. They just walk around and talk and, and show stuff. And uh, I haven't been doing a lot of that, just simply walking and talking. It's been a mix of a lot of things, which is, I do like making videos like that, but uh, I'm gonna give this a try. Comment below on what you think, if you like this kind of thing. Green, 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 look at this. Again, it's like you're in a park. Little water feature over here. Heavily secured by awesome security guards. Super safe, as you would imagine. All right, we're getting close to some of my favorite parts of BGC. All right, again, biking, scooters, healthy living. It does have that vibe. That's what I loved about it. When I first came here and I saw all this, it reminds me of where I live in Florida. I live in St. Pete, and when I first went there, what I fell in love with is people are out walking with their dogs and biking and running and that healthy lifestyle, that kind of youthful, feel-good feeling that everyone has, young and old. This BGC definitely has that. I, I mean, it's it's impressive. It really is, and very family-friendly. There's kids everywhere, too. Who's a fan of corgis? I never used to be, but I've met a few really cool corgis. There's one behind me. How's it going? Can I get some footage of your corgi? Yeah, yeah, no They're such cool dogs. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Come with me. Come for a walk. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy. Okay, this is an area of town I really like. It's a little bit lower density. You do have some high rises here. They're pretty much all condos. And you have the Burgos Circle Park. And this just reminds me of some cities that I've lived in. There's areas of St. Pete that are like this, Vancouver, Canada, when I lived there. More of those bikes that you can rent. They have this tree of life as sort of the centerpiece of this park. Yeah, so that, when I saw that, I'm like, I love it. Really well done sculpture right here. But yeah, cool spot. You know what, there's none here now, but when I first came here, there was a bunch of dogs. So there was people, they just looked like residents of these condos hanging out, playing with their dogs. I'm gonna cut to some footage of that right now. And as you can see, cool place for dogs to hang out. Cool place for people to just chill on the bench after a long walk down Bonificio High Street. But yeah, a little bit lower density, kind of quaint boutique looking little restaurants but there's one place here that whenever I see it since I've been here in the Philippines I'm like that's awesome so we got like Starbucks is the big coffee shop Dunkin Donuts those places in the US but in Canada we have this place we're on every corner sometimes they'll be like in a gas station and then literally right next to the gas station is a Tim Hortons right? there you go Tim Hortons AKA Timmy's. What's up, man? You've lived in BGC for a while? I've been living here for more than three years by what? now. I think BGC is pretty much like a little bubble. That's what they say. 
Ah, in Manila. It is kind of like a bubble, right? Yeah, not really any other places or other other areas of the city. It's quite Better like, like a western this. or like more metropolitan kind of lifestyle. Yeah, that's but, what, yeah, it depends. That's what I was saying. But super dog friendly, which is cool. I wouldn't say that there are huge parks even here, but at least some green patches. But we're heading to that little greenway right now, which is kind of their main. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, it's we'll not bad. Like, that's that, that is a pretty nice area. This Burgos Circle also quite lively. There is high street. So, yeah, yeah that's actually, it's quite convenient. Yeah, where, where are you from? I'm from Hungary, originally. From Hungary, awesome, yes. man. Well, thanks for taking the time to chat with me. I appreciate no, no it. No worries, Enjoy time. your day. Turn around. Right. Yeah, so Forbes Town's pretty cool. It's kind of funky, right? Got some murals on the walls here on these restaurants. We've got murals on these huge planters, which are pretty much just like construction blocks for traffic, perhaps, but they painted them put some plants in there. So these are the little things that they've done in BGC that make it feel more like the whole thing is kind of like a park. But I think they did a really good job. Okay, we see that car right there, a little Ferrari. It's one thing I forgot to mention. You notice that here quite a bit. A lot of really nice cars. I'm gonna cut to some shots that I have right now of Lamborghini dealership. So, yeah, that you don't see really anywhere else in, in the Philippines. So this is, like that fella said, it's a bubble. It's no question. BGC is a bit of a bubble from the rest of Manila and the Philippines, for sure. How are we doing back there? So good to get out and walk. Man, it's been a while since I've really gotten out and moved. So happy my back isn't hurting today. Man, that was an awful last several days. Good to be back, good to be moving. Moving and grooving. There's so much green here, you can't see the sign, but there you go. This way to the green way. This is like the last little section of BGC, the far, far end on the uh, west side of BGC. They have thoughtfully kept a section that they've put this awesome trail where you can go for a walk, go for a run, walk your dog. But this is a must, right? Like when you live in a city, you need a little section where you can just be, you know, away from everything, get your workout in. It's not a super, super long stretch of running and walking path, but it's decent. I'm not sure how long it is. I'd say like, maybe like four or five blocks. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Rosie Rosie and I just went on a nice little walking tour for you. I hope you liked it. It is an awesome, awesome place. If I lived in Manila and worked here, this would be a, a nice nice place to, to live and work and hang out. So stay tuned, my next video, I'm gonna show you what is outside of the BGC bubble. Literally, as soon as you step outside of BGC and cross the street, what do you see? What's it like? Well, I'm gonna show you one section of that because that's where I've been living for the last week and a half and I love it. So let's check it out, next video coming up. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Alrighty. Ciao.